We must bring Finland to its knees. These words of one of the inhabitants of Soviet Ukraine, along with dozens of others, ended up in an NKVD report dated December 4, 1939. Four days before this, the Red Army started a war against Finland. Stalin wanted to move the border farther from Leningrad by capturing a part of the neighboring country and to turn Finland into a satellite state. The USSR accused its victim of aggression and using a puppet government announced that it was going to liberate the Finnish people. Such a familiar style of the Soviet Union and its successor. The forces were unequal and the Soviet leadership had no doubt that the Red Army would sweep away the enemy's resistance and would soon take Helsinki. But the Finns were not going to give up. What did ordinary Soviet people think about the war? Did they believe the state propaganda or did they sympathize with the Finns? The documents of the Soviet Secret Service tell us about this. Eduard Andrushenko, the founder of this channel, has found several dozen reports of the NKVD of Ukraine about how did people react to the invasion of Finland. The most interesting parts of them are in this video. The NKVD, as always in such documents, assured that the majority of Soviet people supported Stalin's policy. The mood of the working people reflects the strength and might of their state, fully approving of the dignified, calm and resolute response of the great Soviet country to the aggressors and presumptuous provocateurs. Now let's look at the statements of individuals quoted by the NKVD. We can't take any more of tons of a punny bug like Finland with its stupid leaders. They forget that if the USSR stamp on it, nothing will left of them. Kovalenko, a foreman of the plant number 9, Shostka Town. Our 183 million people are not afraid of the provocations of these bugs. We will defend our homeland as one. The party will complete its right policy and free the working people of Finland of the white Finns. Simonenko, a worker from Odessa. We shouldn't go easy on Finland. It needs to be taught a lesson. I'm surprised at the long patience of our government. A professor from Kyiv, outstanding physician Max Gubergritz. Finland must be brought to its knees and forced to accept our conditions. Professors Vasilenka, Rajba, Tatarinov and Dr. Muzichenko, Kyiv. The war starting in Finland will go faster than in Poland. The troops of only Leningrad and Moscow military districts are enough for this. Naumov, a researcher of the Institute of Mathematics of the Academy of Sciences. Finnish troops fiercely resisted and the Red Army was ill-prepared. So the invaders suffered heavy losses. People's statements about this appeared in documents in January 1940. The conditions are now unbearable for the Red Army. Wounded and frozen don't get timely assistance and most of them die. Now comrades Timoshenko, Varashilov and even Stalin are on the Finnish front. Kaganovich an employee of the Kyiv Telegraph. Our people disgraced themselves on the Finnish front. It's not Poland which was handed to them on a silver platter. Let them try to fight the Finns. Kovalenko, a collective farmer from Vinitsa region. In Samara even mattresses ran out when 2,000 wounded from Finnish front were brought to local hospitals. Karibov, a doctor from Varushilovgrad. Our troops sent to the Finnish border are in a terrible mood. They are not going to die for any homeland or Stalin. They just say that some restless person is sitting there in power. All he wants is foreign territories, as if our own are not enough. Let one of them go to the front himself, then probably there would be less fervor. Nina Boyko Even in the conditions of constant brainwashing, information monopoly of the regime and fear of punishment for wrong words, there were many Soviet people who spoke out in support of Finland. I believe that the recent incident on the border with artillery fire is nothing but our staging. 
it could not happen that such a peaceful tiny nation like the Finns would come to fight with us. They are wonderful people. I am proud that nowadays there is such a nation that really heroically fights for its independence. Lubchenko, a Ukrainian writer, nationalist. The Finns are wonderful shooters. They are good hunters. Now in their area they are in an advantageous position. Koval, Kyiv Telegraph employee. We are going like savage hunts without popular sympathy. Voskresensky, a technician from Vinnytsia. Of course, by virtue of discipline, we are obliged to write protests, proclamations and indignant verses. But to tell the truth, I feel sorry for the innocent Finns. Maxim Rilski, a poet. Is there at least one sane person who would believe that in fact Finland was the first to start attacking the USSR? I'm sure not. And it's funny not only to assert, but even to think about it. After announcing the termination of the treaty and recalling the embassy from Finland, I was sure that Finland would definitely start attacking us to provoke a war. And we, the unfortunate victim of the aggression, would start to defend ourselves. This is how China attacked Japan, Czechoslovakia and Poland attacked Germany, and finally Finland attacked the USSR. Antoniuk, an engineer from Kyiv. The story with Finland clearly shows that we are aggressors, and what is red imperialism. Abramovich from Kyiv. I believe that the easy victory over Poland whetted our appetite too much, and the provocation on the Finnish border was caused by our side, because it's inconvenient for us to battle the Finns openly. Milanov, a worker of workshops of the Kharkiv Electrotechnical Institute. When the Bolsheviks said we will not give up our land and don't want a foreign one, I sympathized with this. And now the world people says, why did the Bolsheviks break their world? Why do we need conquests? This is a gamble that Hitler pushes us into. Pishemucha, a doctor of agricultural sciences from Kharkiv. Of course, a lot of our Red Army soldiers were killed there. It's not Poland. The Finns know how to fight. Let them fight and give us money for our staging. Finland doesn't bother me, and I have nothing to fight with it for. Let the party members fight, and I don't want to be the hero of the Union. Lazar Frankel, an employee of the Kyiv Film Studio. I would like the Finns to beat ours. Since they took Poland, which was ready to surrender, and started to rejoice. Soviet power will not exist for long. How long will the workers tolerate it? Everywhere you go, there are queues, there is nothing anywhere to buy. Rayenko, a worker from Kharkiv. Despite everything, the Finnish David still could not defeat the Soviet Goliath. A peace treaty between the two states was signed in March 1940. A part of Finland territories passed to the USSR. Yes, it was Stalin's victory, but the victory achieved through colossal efforts. And this is what Soviet people thought about the treaty and the result of the war. I am very sorry that I didn't manage to replace the tractor with a military vehicle and destroy the Finnish White Guards on it. Krivoshev, a tractor driver. Still, the Finns are great. They hurted the Red Army badly. Because how many thousands were killed? It's a horror. Of course, our government had to conclude a treaty sooner, because discontent among the people already had started. Dulin, a design engineer of Varsholovgrad plant number 60. Some loyal citizens wondered why Stalin forgot about so-called people's government, which he supported earlier, and resigned himself to the fact that the old Finnish regime remained. The entire Soviet people greeted with joy the news of peace with Finland. But it would be even better to totally finish with Mannerheim and leave the agreement with the people's government in force. Simaev, a worker from Odessa. 
Still, we must admit that the Finns were fighting well. Of course, we did not expect for the resistance they put up. Kopitsa, a deputy director of the Institute of the Academy of Sciences of the Ukrainian SSR. Still, the actions of the Soviet Union were not firm. They recognized the government of the People's Republic, dissociated from the old government having called it a gang, and then entered into negotiations with the gang and simply forgot the recognized government. Yasinsky, an economist. Why was it necessary to conclude a treaty? They should beat until victory like in Poland. Otherwise, Finland remains as it was. We took only a piece. Where is your commitment and the agreement with the people's government? Trubnikov, a worker of the Voroshilovgrad plant. It turns out that the USSR capitulated. The white Finns were not recognized and now we have concluded a treaty with them. What will happen with the treaty with the people's government? Trubkin, a worker from Voroshilovgrad. I am just ashamed of my homeland. After all, so many people died because of some insignificant piece of the Karelian Isthmus. Limarev, the chief physician of Voroshilovgrad. The USSR has 60 people per one Finn, and we could not do anything. Now we will shout less about the invincible Red Army. Yermakov, an engineer from Mykolaiv. This is a big blow for Polish nationalists. The conclusion of this treaty dispelled hopes for the landing of British legionnaires. But there is still the possibility that Germany will conclude a treaty with France and jointly begin a campaign against the USSR. In this case, the revival of Poland is possible. Markovska, a writer. It's a pity that so many of our soldiers died on the Finnish front. They were brutally persecuted by the Finns. Kolosvetov, a lachmit. About two million Red Army soldiers have died in Finland. Only my village has more than 100 people died. These fools went into battle. They should turn their weapons back, then perhaps they would have achieved something better. Lukyanenka, a worker of the Thix horse stout farm. The Finnish bourgeoisie felt the military strength of the Soviet Union and asked for peace at any price. They understood that the USSR is a country that wages the just war against the aggressor. Tarapata, a worker of the Lakwitsky distillery. During the war, the NKVD was also closely following what was happening among the Red Army soldiers who were to go to the Finnish front. We have tons of amazing documents on this. If you want a separate episode dedicated to this topic, write about this in the comments. Also feel free to subscribe our channel and support us on Patreon. All the links are below in the description.